God, she says, she means from the bottom of her heart. The regards were mentioned when TV3 News asked Olinda Woodruff about a claim made by Mr. Field that she was paying him back using this controversy because of a matter between them 16 years ago. This claim was denied by Mrs. Woodruff, saying that representing Thai people and any nationality for that matter goes way back and has nothing to do with the New Zealand MP. Um, to Tato, Maxine and family, I send my regards, and I mean that from the bottom of, bottom of my heart. I have nothing against Tato. I have tried not to ask, answer any questions put to me by the media in New Zealand or international media come to that because I've just returned from Melbourne and I was asked the same questions. My comments is always I know nothing about the case of Taito Field. My involvement is as a lawyer to represent Thai people. Mm. To Taito and Maxine, they're Samoans, they're like me. And I would like to say, I'm a proud Samoan. I don't like seeing other Samoans being put down by, by people. She went on to say that there have been interviews with the media in New Zealand, but only because she has a right to speak on behalf of her Thai clients. The mention of Tato's family or name is simply because it's in the sworn evidence of the clients that I act for. And in my duty as a lawyer, I have to say things that are proven by sworn documents, meaning affidavits on the Bible mm. that are sworn by these Thai people. Mrs. Woodruff confirmed that she stated in the Herald newspaper her clients were suffering in the hands of whims in Samoa. She furthermore stated her clients mentioned they were living in poverty in Samoa. They, in comparison to what uh, the Thai uh, a man was used to, keeping in mind that he did work in Japan, he did work in Singapore, he did work as a tailor in Saudi Arabia, so he is used to having a fairly good lifestyle. Mm. With all these claims from her clients, she hopes that this controversy issue will come to an end. I trust and I pray that in the, at the end of this, everything comes out to where, to what Taito is saying, for his sake and for his family. Motu Sivianzi, TV3 News. First up for tonight, TV3 sought a comment from the Thailand ambassador based in New Zealand about comments made on the Herald newspaper in the past few days about the Thai couple that is in the centre of the title Philip Field controversy. Moto Sivi Asi has this report. This is a photocopied article by the Herald newspaper in New Zealand stating that the Thai government has offered to repatriate the Thailand at the centre of the work permit Mr. inquiry Field has denied involving any wrong MP doing. title Philip Field. Even as a headline, they stated, Thailand offers to take Taito Tyler back. But according to a recorded phone interview with the Thai ambassador, His Excellency Norkeet Sinhaseni, this is incorrect. We did not offer to repatriate him. We, as an embassy, which is based in Wellington, has jurisdiction over Samoa, and one of our responsibilities is to look after Thai citizens wherever they are, mm. and if they are in difficulty or need a assistance, we are there to provide the assistance. So in case someone like the person you are referring to yes. wants to go back to Thailand and does not have money or does not have the funds to pay for his ticket and his family's ticket, mm. he mm. can contact the embassy yeah. and request assistance we will be ready to provide funding or buy the air tickets for him if it is his request. When asked if he at any time had been in contact with the Thai man Sunan Siriwan, His Excellency says no, but the Thai man was in contact with his staff members. He has contacted us when his passport is about to expire. We have renewed the passport for him as he requested. So he will have the necessary travel documents. The last time my embassy staff spoke with him, he was still uh, satisfied to remain in Samoa. He told us that he was uh, requesting a visa to enter New Zealand 
and he was not in any difficulty and he did not require assistance or did not request it at that time. In the Ingram report commissioned by Prime Minister Helen Clark, Mr. Siriwan stated in his application that he was a member of a Thai religious group and faced prosecution if returned to Thailand. This claim was denied by the Thailand ambassador. It is not true. I haven't seen Mr. Siriwan's refugee application. It so, was a racket where, where, where they were going around and telling people that uh, if you give us money, we will process or do work uh, visa applications for you. And, but what they did was they f only filled up this refugee application form, giving all the same reasons. And the New Zealand government has rejected that because there is no religious prosecution in Thailand. So there is no prosecution of any religion of any kind? No. His Excellency stated that the government of Thailand has not offered to take the couple back to Thailand but they will assist them if they request to return to Thailand. He has also made it clear that there is no prosecution whatsoever for any religion of any kind, but the Thai man in question is satisfied with living in Samoa. He emphasized that this comments be broadcasted unedited or changed, as he is disappointed with his changed statements on Herald newspaper. Motosiviasi TV3 News.